Bereshit, Genesis 28. And Yitzhak called El Yaakov and blessed him, and charged him and said unto him, You shall not take a woman of the daughters of Ekenaan. Arise, go to Padan Aram, to the house of Bethuel, your mother's father, and take you a woman from thence of the daughters of Levan, your brother's mother. And El Shaddai bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you that you may be a multitude of people and give you at the blessing of Avraham to you and to your seed with you that you may inherit at the land wherein you are a stranger which Elohim gave unto Avraham. And Yitzhak sent away at Yaakov, and he went to Padan Aram unto Levan, son of Bethuel, the Arami, the brother of Rivka, Yaakov's and Esau's mother. When Esau saw that Yitzhak had blessed at Yaakov and sent him away to Padan Aram to take him a woman from thence, And that as he blessed him, he gave him a charge, saying, You shall not take a woman of the daughters of Canaan. And that Yaakov obeyed his father and his mother and was gone to Padan Aram. And Esau, seeing that the daughters of Canaan pleased not Yitzhak his father, then went Esau unto El Yishmael, and took unto the woman, women which he had at Machalath, the daughter of Yishmael, Avraham's son, the sister of Nevayoth, to be his woman. And Yaakov went out from Be'er Sheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night, because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place, and put them for his pillows, and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed, and behold, a ladder set up on the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. Behold, the angels of Elohim ascending and descending on it. Behold, Yahuwah stood above it and said, I am Yahuwah, Elohim of Avraham, your father, and the Elohim of Yitzhak, the land whereon you lie, to you will I give it, and to your seed And your seed shall be as the dust of the earth, and you shall spread abroad to the west and to the east and to the north and to the south. And in you and in your seed shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with you. And will guard you in all places whither you go, and will bring you again into this land. For I will not leave you until I have done at that which I have spoken to you of. And Yaakov awoke out of his sleep, and he said, Surely Yahuwah is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place! This is none other but the house of Elohim, and this is the gate of heaven. And Yaakov rose up early in the morning, and he took at the stone that he had put for his pillows, and set it up for a pillar, and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called at the name of that place, Beitel. But the name of that city was called Luz at the first. 
And Yaakov vowed a vow saying, If Elohim will be with me and will guard me in this way that I go and will give me bread to eat and raiment to put on so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall Yahuwah be my Elohim. And this stone which I have set for a pillar shall be Elohim's house. And of all that you shall give me, I will surely give the tenth unto you.